big news in your neck of the woods this week. The Dallas Cowboys, uh, 105.3 The Fan had an insider call in known as Bobby Belt uh, from Texas. I don't know who that is, but uh, he seems to have some uh, inside information on the Dallas Cowboys saying potentially that Amari Cooper and Demarcus Lawrence are likely to be cap casualties this offseason. That is pretty crazy news. What is your thoughts on uh, all of this? So a few years ago, uh, when Dallas drafted Demarcus Lawrence and he became a decent player at a couple of nice seasons, they signed him to a big deal. They made him one of the highest paid defensive ends in the game. Since then, the last three years, Demarcus Lawrence, 14 and a half sacks total. Like that's terrible. Even, even if you take off the injuries from this past season, he only had 11 sacks in two years prior to that. He has not lived up to his contract at all. Now, look, I like Demarcus Lawrence. He does a lot of little things. He plays hard. He plays the run, does all that kind of stuff. But he is not worth the money he's paid. Right now, he's the fifth highest paid edge rusher in the NFL. And he's got stats that are like bottom 50 in terms of you know pass rushing and things like that. It's, it's just he hasn't been productive at all. Uh, in terms of his contract. Amari Cooper, not quite as bad, but more of the same. Amari Cooper was brought in. They traded a first-round pick for him, and he kind of turned Dak Prescott's career around there for a little bit. He was a great player for a number of years, but his production has declined a little bit and really kind of fell off this past season. This this is weird. This is one of the things I think people kind of forget about Dallas because we assume Amari Cooper is just a superstar. Amari Cooper was 39th in the NFL in catches last year, 39th. 34th in receiving yards. That's that's certainly not number one receiver, certainly not Pro Bowl or any of that. Meanwhile, he's going to be paid right now. He's the fourth biggest cap hit, number four of all wide receivers in the NFL. He's barely a top 40 receiver in production, but he's number four in salary cap hit. Look, that just can't happen in an organization. That's just not a recipe for success. And that's exactly why Dallas is going to more than likely move on from those guys. You know, if they cut Amari Cooper, they save $16 million in cap. If they cut Demarcus Lawrence, they save $8 million. For the production that those guys had, that's more than enough money to replace that and potentially, you know, get a little more depth as well. Because right now, if you just look at Dallas, they've got a lot of money going to guys that just aren't living up to their, uh, their paychecks. Yeah, and so... I like the things you said, you know, being some of the highest paid guys in their field, they got to get comparisons to guys that are around them. And, you know, there's only five edge rushers above Lawrence that, as far as uh, cap hits go. And when you start, you know, the cream rises to the crop and you start to measure it against, you look at Demarcus Lawrence and you look at TJ Watt. They're not really comparable at all. Like you or, know. or Khalil Mack or one of those guys. You know, when, when when you look at dominant defensive edge rushers, you go, oh, what? You know, Khalil Mack, you know, those guys come to mind. You have to like think about it for a while before you're like, oh yeah, Demarcus Lawrence is is pretty good. Even but like a gets- Matthew Judon in New England has been great. Uh he yeah. got a got a sizable payday. Zadarius Smith with the Packers, who's been pretty good. There's all kinds of edge rushers out there where Lawrence is at the bottom of the good, I would say. Yeah. He's he's done mediocre at best. And then you look at Cooper, who's been pretty solid, but like you said in the last year, you uh, match Cooper up against guys like DeAndre Hopkins, who's getting a ton of money. Uh, Devontae Adams, who's going to get a ton of money. You know, you got the Cooper Cups, you know, all the young guys that are coming up. Uh, Cooper is probably lagging behind those guys at the bottom of the pack and he's getting huge money. So I could see what, what Dallas is coming from as far as, you know, cost benefit analysis, Jerry Jones, the ever prevalent businessman that he is, you know, why are we paying this much? We're not getting enough return on investment ROI. That's the most important thing here. Uh, so we might have to move on from our investment, you know, cut our losses, no sunk costs fallacy. Yeah, agree 100%. And and the, I think this insider, whoever his sources are, if he's just using logic, he's 100% right here. Demarcus Lawrence and Amari Cooper won't be Cowboys in 20.